गाइस दिस इज मालिंकी वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल वॉइस ऑफ मालिंकी टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट ग्लाइकोलाइसिस एंड इफ यू न्यू इन माय चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड इफ यू लाइक माय वीडियो प्लीज डू लाइक कमेंट एंड शेयर माय वीडियो सो ग्लाइकोलाइसिस इज अ पाथवे दैट कन्वर्ट्स ग्लूकोस इनटू पाइरुविक एसिड एंड द फ्री एनर्जी रिलीज्ड इन दिस प्रोसेस इज यूज्ड टू फॉर्म एटीपी एंड एनएडीएच Glycolysis occurs in cytoplasm of all cells of our body. Glycolysis does not require oxygen. Steps of glycolysis. So glycolysis occurs in two steps. Investment phase or investment stage or preparatory phase. Wherein ATP is consumed. E phase or payoff phase. Wherein ATP is produced first we will talk about investment phase here a glucose molecule it is a six carbon molecule it is phosphorylated to form glucose six phosphate by the enzyme hexokinase or glucokinase so glucose six phosphate is also a six carbon compound that means just a phosphate group is attached with the carbon number 6 of glucose which makes it glucose 6 phosphate and the reaction is performed by the enzyme hexokinase so it is a kinase because it adds phosphate group and hexo because its substrate is glucose which is a 6 carbon compound and in this reaction one molecule of ATP is consumed one molecule of ATP is consumed and magnesium is used as a cofactor glucose 6 phosphate is then rearranged into fructose 6 phosphate by glucose phosphate isomerase it is just a rearrangement reaction so glucose becomes fructose hence the enzyme is isomerase here again magnesium is used as a cofactor fructose 6 phosphate is then converted into fructose 16 bisphosphate here an extra phosphate group is added to the carbon number 1 of fructose the reaction is performed by phosphofructokinase so fructose 6 phosphate and fructose 16 bisphosphate both are six carbon compounds and this phosphofructokinase adds one phosphate group hence it is a kinase and this enzyme requires a cofactor magnesium in this reaction again one molecule of atp is consumed fructose 16 bisphosphate is split into one molecule of dihydroacetone phosphate and one molecule of glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate so fructose 16 bisphosphate is six carbon compound and these two are three carbon compounds so this reaction is performed by aldolase dihydroxyacetone phosphate rapidly converts into glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate by the enzyme triose phosphate isomerase This is an isomerization reaction. That's why the enzyme is isomerase. So what we can see here, from one molecule of glucose, two molecules of glyceraldehyde three phosphates are generated. Next phase is E phase. Since one molecule of glucose produces two molecules of glyceraldehyde three phosphate. each reaction in the yield phase occurs twice per glucose molecule that's why i have put 2x in all steps so we have two molecules of glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate each molecule of glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate is converted into 13 bisphosphoglycerate by using inorganic phosphate that is pi one molecule of nadh is generated from each reaction the enzyme used in this reaction is 
glyceraldehyde phosphate dehydrogenase. Next, each molecule of 1,3-bisphosphoglycerate is converted into 3-phosphoglycerate by using phosphoglycerate kinase. This reaction generates one molecule of ATP. Actually, this enzyme is a kinase. So, it transfers the phosphate from 1,3-bisphosphoglycerate to ADP and converts it to ATP and the byproduct is 3-phosphoglycerate. This is an example of substrate level phosphorylation. Since ATP is synthesized from the substrate without the involvement of electron transport chain, that's why it is called substrate level phosphorylation. Next, each molecule of 3-phosphoglycerate is converted into 2-phosphoglycerate by the enzyme phosphoglycerate mutase and all of the compounds are here three carbon three carbon compounds next each molecule of 2 phosphoglycerate is converted into phosphoenol pyruvate by the enzyme enolase and the cofactor magnesium in this reaction dehydration occurs next each molecule of Phosphoenol pyruvate is converted into pyruvate by the enzyme pyruvate kinase and the cofactor magnesium. This reaction generates one molecule of ATP because this kinase transfers one phosphate group from phosphoenol pyruvate to ADP that converts ADP to ATP and the byproduct is pyruvate. This is also a substrate level phosphorylation. Energy in log glycolysis. So during glycolysis, two ATPs are consumed in the investment phase. Whereas four ATPs and two NADH are produced in the yield phase. Actually, two ATPs and one NADH are generated in yield phase. But the reaction occurs twice as two molecules of glyceraldehyde 3 phosphates were generated. Hence, the yield was 4 ATPs and 2 NADH. 2 NADH are equal to 5 ATPs. Therefore, 5 plus 4 is equal to 9 ATPs are produced in the yield phase. Hence, net gain of energy in glycolysis is 9 minus 2 is equal to 7. This 2 comes from here because in the investment phase, two ATPs were consumed. So the net gain of ATP is 7.